the Clusterfica Crusade Sturkus Ludicrum 3 Shrine World Blues. Ongoing green text saga detailing the conflict between an unreasonable number of factions to dominate a planet in Warhammer 40k. New contributors welcome. Two quick rules. 1. No time travel bullshit. 2. No non-canon crossovers. Be me, Billy Collies. Native of this planet and proud veteran of the Bishop's Crusade. This used to be a nice simple planet. It was a place you could raise a family. Then these guardsmen assholes that barely speak gothic show up and suddenly there are Xenos and heretics everywhere. I know the official story is that they showed up to help, but I lived here my whole life and I never once seen no demons or robo skeletons. Fake new dodgif. And then there's these marines, emperor's angels my ass. They're great athletes, sure, but every one of them steals. Bishop even had to ban them from angels landing. I also ain't never seen one of them put in a single day of work. When they ain't fighting they just lounge around, steal, or strut around in that blinged out armor of theirs. Meanwhile they eat up our food that my taxes pay for. Welfare marines.jpg. But now, I'm getting mine out of some of these damned interlopers. When me and my kin was out crusading for the bishop, we found us some real sissy Xenos in some crashed ship. The little fellas can't take a goddamn punch, but their guns sure are nice. The Mechanicus says we can't use weapons like this, but I don't give a damn what those four dual elitists say. It's my emperor given right to protect myself. Corvette cockboys.gif. So we brought some of these little blow boys back home and put them to work. They started complain pretty easy once cousin Davis had some time with them. Even got one of them speaking human. Got them cranking out more stuff. They're gonna be on my damned planet they're gonna work. And if those damn metal boys think they're getting my guns, drones, or anything else I need to protect my land they got another thing coming. My cold dead hands.png. Got some city boys that's been coming through to buy the stuff off me. I never much trusted the boys from the capital, but these fellows are at least from the planet and they served in the crusade. Their throne spend, that's good enough for me. Be me, Ashley the bound slanishy demon host. And if I wasn't bound in this body, I could make this planet scream moan so loud that they'd hear it two systems over. Normally when a sorcerer binds a slanishy demon princess into a host they have something fun in mind, but not this guy. I've been stuck at his side for 70 years and he's never touched me. Not that I want him to. I hate him. It's just that, like, I'm bound so nothing I can do. Friendzone.warp. He's not even fun to mess with like one of those desperate imperial inquisitors that makes a demon host. He just smiles at the creepy stuff I saw because he says he's like totally into chaos. But after all this time and like all I have done for him he won't even commit to slanesh. Keeps yammering on about how special it is to keep chaos undivided, how he's going to spread that gospel on this planet, and that he doesn't want to be tied down. He's such a player.heresy. Not that I even want him to commit. I mean I'm a demon and so I totally just hate him for binding me and want him dead. But he keeps on surviving because he is just such a talker. And he's so smart and he keeps in really good shape. And he's just so confident in the way he just, like, grabs the warp and makes it his. Bending it to his will like some sort of conquering god. Me who thirsts dot demon. And, like, I tell him all the time that once I get unbound I'm going to flay him alive no matter what. So he may as well have his fun while he can. Like, whether or not he ravishes me or like makes me be his girlfriend or makes me cuddle with his stupid weak human body I'm gonna kill him in the end anyway. So he should just make me do that stuff. But he says this host body just isn't his type. No dick dot host. Then why did he pick it? Be Philip, or Phil as my friends call me. Be enjoying and absolutely fascinating session about the intricacies of poetry with my friend sister Maria. Right now she is showing me one of her earlier works. Alone I stand against my foe. No fear or weakness do I show. They see my stance, and think me bold. But they don't know the truth untold. For even still I cannot hide. The emptiness that's deep inside. This twisting turning writhing hole. Of sorrow that lays in my soul. So when they seek the answer why. That it seems I have come to die. My answer shall fill them with dread. You can't kill what's already dead. Bravo. Mom. Bravo. That was truly splendid. Oh not really. It was just a silly little poem I wrote when I was a teen. It's not really all that good. Oh nonsense. That was wonderful. You ought to be more proud of your work. Suddenly, from downstairs, I hear crashing noises, disgusted screaming, and ghastly groaning. We rush expecting an attack or home invasion. 
Instead it is just my compatriots, lying in a pile over the broken remains of a chair, with sister and Marie standing by the open door. Fessus, back so soon? What do you mean so soon? It's already half past midnight. Why so it is, my how time does fly when you're having fun. We left early but it took us three and a half hours to get here. But this is only a 30 minute walk from the bar, 10 if you're driving. Yeah but you know it was such a lovely day that we decided to walk and enjoy the scenery, you know really take it in. Yeah, in fact it was so beautiful we had to take in multiple times. They mean we forgot our combeds and got lost. Oh screw you Marcus. Gentlemen, gentlemen, that still doesn't explain what happened to the chair. Oh that's easy, it won't open because this is a push door, not a pull door. Fessus, Marcus, and Lloyd all stand around sheepishly, cheeks red. Oh, well how were we supposed to bloody know that? Perhaps by the sign. We couldn't read it, it was dark and written in blackish grey. Or actually it was written in. Is he quite alright? Did you say tried to use him as a battering ram? Oh yeah, he's fine. He was out before we started. Yeah he just can't hold his liquor as good as some of us. And we used him feet first anyways, but still it was Fess's idea. Or come one, you two Lloyd? Sorry Sarge, but I don't wanna have to be the one to explain to the doc if something's wrong with him. It's decorous, that's his default state. Well, this is thoroughly embarrassing for all of us now. Time to make my exit. Well in any case Maria, it seems I must now escort my inebriated friends back home. I had a lovely time tonight, we really should do this again sometime. Sure I would love to. Just make sure they aren't a part of the package next time. Right sister and Marie. Again, sorry for the damages, we shall send you the money for them. Bye Maria. Thanks again for babysitting him. Hope he wasn't too much trouble. How much is your hourly rate? Let's go. My friends are the worst sometimes. Be me, Jeris Margos Anthony Cosanostro. What a fucking mess this is. My, uh, predecessors from the Mechanicus on this planet made a mistake or two. If you're gonna exterminate an entire planet, Imperial and Xeno alike, to get a hold of some Necron tech, well, that's fine. But don't start something you can't finish. No half measures. PNG. Now this whole planet is a fucking mess. You've got yokels running around with plasma rifles. This fucking little bishop hard on selling thousands of pieces of top of the fucking line at mech tech to rogue traders. And every other type of tech heresy you can imagine. And, of course, people are gonna break the rules. That's to be expected. I've even been accused of doing it once or twice myself. Never convicted. Voxcast. Oh, but ya can't do all that out in the open and not kick up to the bosses. So they sent me and my crew to make some examples, get our fucking thrones, and bring back whatever architecture I can. And hey, you know what I mean, I gotta eat too. Maybe I end up with a few new macadendrites. What's right is right. Go to wet my beak dot skim. But it shouldn't be too fucking bad a deal. I got my guys Silonzio and Petrochis. They run the server to fleets. Send in Skulls planet wide to take it all in. We'll scope it all out. Have my cousin Christopher pick out the choice targets so long as he can fucking keep his head on straight. Den. Ya yeah, no. Send all Arius, Nicaran, and the new guys to crack a few skulls. I'll take care of anybody in charge who thinks they're gonna talk back. Then. We're set. Should have enough time to stop for a for a steak and a blowjob on the way back to the Forge you world. Be canonous. Should be relaxing on the cozy shrine world. Instead I'm relaxing on the cozy new shrine world. Not a clue what good a bishop and the new governor think is going to come of declaring this place a holy site. Barely understand why she is allowed a governor's position anyway. Surprise publicly renouncing her father was enough. At least she's somewhat competent. As much as one can get in this hellhole. Didn't think I would miss the constant existential crises. This fucking place is filling up with useless people faster than they can be thinned out. Orcs, heretics and remnant tyrannids still all over the planet despite attempts to dislodge them. Somehow the pilgrims convince themselves they're oh so brave for showing up and that they're somehow safe within angels landing at the same time. Ignoring the fact that the sisters are still actively clearing necrons and tyrannids from the undercity. Thomas Crusade is in full swing. Brings all manner of soldiers. Profiteers and would-be crusaders trying to make a name for themselves. Xena's technology from the Necrons and the various invaders is a magnet for scavengers. Find myself dealing with a constant rotation of fresh new idiots and lunatics. Leading the sisters of the orders of the Ermine Mantle, Golden Light and Black Sepulchre. And damn if that isn't enough of a mouthful for Sister Charlotte. 
turned the matrimonial cathedral into our base of operations. Many of the local forces moved on in support of the crusade. Still troops from several Imperial Guard regiments and a grab bag of space marines from a dozen different chapters dicking around. To think what could be done with just the Imperial resources squandered on this fucking planet. Sitting on the chaise lounge in my cathedral living arrangements pouring another glass of rosé. Why is everything always so difficult? Be me, Rabut Gilliman. Be in bed, reading data slates. Read one about this planet that has 12 different faction fighting on it at once. Fucking 12. Half of them are Imperial. How this planet isn't debris is beyond me. Think about going to see this mess in person. It'd make a great experience for the primaries. A pair of arms wrap around my side. Ivrain gives me the look. Fuck it the mess will sort itself out eventually. Go back to bed for round 6 of Elder Biology 101. Be Palatine Barbastella. With difficulty I wake from my slumber. Sleep is not unlike the restful oblivion of death. I am loath to leave it. But duty calls, in light of recent events, Canonis Superior Constantia has called a strategic meeting of the sororities on Sturcus Ludicrum this morning, which to her ill-concealed chagrin still includes the Black Sepulchre. Have one of the Repentia bring me a thermos of Rakaf. Black as the endless void between the stars. Sweet as the scent of flowers on a grave. It makes the phantasmal existence I must endure more bearable. Especially at 6.30 in the Emperor Forsaken morning. Over breakfast. Sister Superior Ophelia informs me that the planetary governess has left us a gift. A pleasant surprise indeed, we are in need of munitions and supplies. Especially since our Canada Superior has seen fit to prioritize her own orders needs over those of others. I see what you're doing Constantia. I'm dead inside, not stupid. Inquire as to the nature of the delivery. It's eyeliner and poetry, palatine. The two things we already have in abundance. Sigh. Pour myself some more a calf. Liberate me ex inferis dot picked. Be fessus. Be skulking in an abandoned building in the dead of night. Carefully trying to move crates of goods from their hidden cache into an unmarked van with Lloyd. I assure you though, it's much better than it sounds. Ever since the big siege and the celebration afterwards ended we haven't had much to do. Even though we are technically Blood Raven chapter serfs, they don't really seem to know what to do with us. They just left us with vague orders to assist the PDF with the reclamation of the city. Since we've been technically pardoned and the magpies don't have any barracks for chapter serfs in the city, we've been bunking with the PDF boys. Plenty of empty bunks now. Tag along on their reclamation missions which basically means, march into a destroyed section of the city, kick down what remains of the doors, kill whatever shoots back, and then leave the rest to people who can actually hold a hammer. It's pretty simple, not too dangerous, and we get free bed, food, and supplies. The problem is we're not technically part of the guard anymore so we're not getting paid for it, which sucks big time because being a chapter surf doesn't pay either and everything fun requires money. During one of these missions we found a hidden compartment full of unmarked crates. Lightbulb.jpg Instead of reporting this, and having the administratum dump it in some musty cellar to be forgotten, we should take it upon ourselves to provide these goods to those who truly needed them. For a small fee of course. The others were against it at first but were won over by my persuasive charm, and the fact that we'd be broke soon if we didn't. So you see, this totally iced what it seems like. We're completely in the right. Be Sister Charlotte. Be having a shit time of it. I want to smite Xenos and heretics and earn the favor of Ms. Crazy Eyes McGee. But the only enemies right now are the Tyranids and Necrons down below and fuck that noise. I swear to god the Tyranids will specifically converge on our location. Don't they have any sewer workers or stupid children to eat or something? I think we should be allowed to use bait before fighting them. If they can strip the planet in a few weeks, they should take a few months eating Olga's ass, in which time we can fucking xenocide them all. At least more reinforcements are arriving to dump work on. I mean help us in this glorious crusade. More space marines, even. Red Templars. Lots of people don't like them due to being in close with the Lords of Terra and Minotaurs or whatever. But they've always been brass to the Echelshiarchy and the sisters. Guess this is a good sign. But they normally show up when something needs hunted down. Hope it's not any of us. This is gonna be a fuckload more people though. These guys always travel with a massive retinue. Be me, Echelshiarchy youngster bishop. Thanks to me and my wife, the planetary governess, the emperor's vision is finally being realized. I keep getting reports from Canoners Constantia about some remaining Tyranid and Necron forces, but I'm pretty sure she just worries too much. 
with more marines and guardsmen leaving the planet to expand the crusade and more of the faithful arriving every day. This planet is safer than ever. I think working in our matrimonial cathedral may just be stressing her out. As a sister of battle she's married to the emperor, but I think she may be feeling lonely because of how happy we are. Always a bridesmaid.png. Besides, as we've begun converting my holy warriors into the new planetary defense force to avoid issues with the decree passive things have really started to stabilize. Not only do they have the faith of the emperor to protect them, but they're probably the most experienced and well equipped pdf in the imperium. And speaking of well equipped, the amount of money we're bringing in is insane. I've really come to understand how certain expenditures can really enhance productivity. The newly rebuilt governor's mansion has been a fantastic place for me to work. Everything is so comfortable and the food has me feeling stronger than ever. Decadence is good dodgif. I've been staying away from the front lines these days. I mostly only pull out the eviscerator and the heavy flamer during my sermons where I tell the stories of how I personally saved this planet. My flamer feels a lot heavier since my old arm stopped working. My new one is gorgeous though, and much more befitting of the emperor's chosen. In fact, all of my new stuff is gorgeous. That commissar even sent us some really nice power armor. The clothes make the man dot vox cast. Yep, I've got a feeling everything is going to be just great from here on out. Be a rug trader. It is the best profession a man can have and it comes highly recommended. But you are quite lucky indeed, as I am not just a mere rug trader. I am Asensio Gilberto Corazon III of Rin's world. Yes, the very same. Conqueror of moons, lover of women, famed captain of the cruiser Unbound Ipomia. And I have come to this cursed backwater world with the aim of expanding my considerable fortune. And, perhaps, making the intimate acquaintance of members of the several sororitous orders said to be involved in its defense. Some fruitless and inexplicable conflict has left more exploitable Xenos salvage on this planet than in entire sectors of space. And its close proximity to a newly begun crusade makes it ripe with financial opportunity. For as everyone knows, in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there is only war. And war is very good for business. Be me, Sybarite Drazer. Be flying around on jet bike I stole. But it was from an asshole so it's okay. So far I'm alone but whatever. The succubus from before is kinda weird. Always wants me to follow her into her quarters. I know what's gonna happen if I do that. I like my limbs thank you. Anyways I like flying around. It's calming and I get to wreck the occasional vehicle with nades. Zoom over the city and drop a load of caltrops in some monkey street. Land on a nearby rooftop to watch if anyone steps on them. This gonna be good dot jet bike. Grab some snacks from a side pouch and wait. Get a message. From the succubus. Says she's gonna come get me. Oh shit my location beacon is on. Oh shit I'm going to get flayed alive. Get back on jet bike and gun it in a random direction. Be Marcus. Be sitting in this van keeping watch with Phil and Decorous. This is wrong. Decorous, I told you, I am the one who got the car, so I get to drive. If you want a drive so badly then go get. No not that, I mean this, this whole thing feels wrong. I must admit, I agree with the boy on this one. Oh by the throne not this again. Look, guys I already told you, there's nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this? It's stealing Marcus. Stealing is wrong. Decorous, we've all stolen things all the time. Heck. Back when we were in the guard proper, you stole an entire Necron's head to make a puppet so you could practice your ventriloquism. Yeah, but those were heretics and Xenos, not people. Stealing from people is wrong. It's not stealing, Decorous, it's battlefield salvage. Whoever this stuff used to belong to probably left this planet one way or another and won't miss it. My mum always said that naughty boys who stole would get their fingers eaten by the Marlican. Decorous you're a grown ass man and I have personally seen you charge a beefed up warp twisted abomination all by yourself. Why the bloody hell are you still scared of monsters from nursery rhymes? Make believe monsters aside, even if you do not acknowledge this as theft from a person this would most definitely count as theft from the emperor and imperium we should have reported this cash as soon as we found it. No it's not Phil. We're not taking them out of the imperium or selling it to the orcs or anything. We're just giving in to some of the emperor's other people. Some whole pay us. Hopefully a lot. Who? Someone. Who? You don't even know what it is we're trying to to sell yet. It doesn't matter, there's always someone wanting something on this planet, and Seth's got plenty of contacts. Seth? Slimy Seth? That man's a crook through and through. 
he earned the name for more than just his personal hygiene you know. I heard he sold his own mother to the Dark Elder, and then kidnapped her so he could do it five more times until she died of a heart attack. Johnson says his brother's girlfriend's sister's roommate saw it. Dot. Decorous when the hell are you gonna stop being so bloody gullible? Yes. Well while I cannot say I believe something that outlandish, it is very well known what sort of sordid company that man keeps. Okay fine. So maybe this is stupid. Maybe it's unethical. But it's also our only shot of making some money. Short of taking bone grinding. Or full factotum jobs. Sure Fess's plans are retarded. But I didn't see any other hands raised. And we could all use the money. Like you decorous. So you afford to take Bridget out somewhere nice. Or you fill. So you can get some of those poetry books. Or painting sets. And what do you want with it Marcos? The governess is already giving you all the free alcohol you could ever want. Well maybe I want more in life than booze. Maybe I wanna have more to look forward to in life than my next chance to get hammered. What does it matter? We've all done worse things before. Why is this victimless crime this suddenly too far? It's not who we're taking it from that concerns me, but who we're giving it to. We don't even know what is in here, let alone if it should even be unearthed. Yeah I gotta agree with Phil on this one. Something is definitely weird about those boxes. Alright fine. As soon as Fessus and Lloyd get back, we'll crack open the boxes, and if it's really that bad, we'll drive it over to the commissar and turn it in. You happy? Be me, Drafa. The last crasher. It's been a long time since I've been up top. Lost track of the days since fell down here. Mostly keep my time measured by kills taken. So it's about 382 skulls o'clock. Not to corny a joke I hope dot heresy. Been getting better with chain axe. Used to be awkward, now I can kinda heft it around without looking like a total fool. And the gains boy. Oh, the gains on these arms. Getting swell or dying trying dodge if. Still pretty lonely. Seen a few things down here that don't want to kill me. Couple other traitor soldiers. Usually have time to say hi and then scatter. Sisters are still down here in force. So are the beat boops. So are the bugs. Three way if you know what I mean dot jpeg. Yeah I already made that joke. But I'm not some comedian like Geriasin Feldus, so cut me some slack. Speaking of cutting.png, squatting over a bug. I think they call these a gaunt. Don't know why it looks pretty bulky to me. Managed to get some chit in over my old armor. Want to get some more, but this is more of a dinner call. Yes I eat nids now. I know what you're thinking, isn't that dangerous? Well I have a system. There's always a brief window between the time after the sisters clear out a bug nest and the imperial cleanup team shows up. All them dead bugs lying about. All burned up. Perfect main course to share among your friends. Dot. I miss the gang.mp3. Hear noise. Turn to see a marine. Oh gif. Didn't realize marines were down here. Hand already on axe. Feth it. I'll cut this space fucker before he takes M. Wait. He looks weird. Not like gut weird, but weird. He waves. I'm just confused. He speaks. Says he's a friend of the gut. Asks where he is. Psy.jpg dead. Bephesus. Ephesus. Are you sure we should be doing this? I mean, didn't the commissar tell us not to loot the city? First off, it's not looting. It's reintroducing lost valuable commodities back into the economy and providing more supply for everyone. And second, he told the Blood Ravens not to loot anything. He didn't say anything about us. Oh yeah, well if that's true then why did we have to come back and do this at night instead of doing it in the morning? Because Lloyd, we didn't have a van this morning, and because some of our more narrow-minded friends in the PDF world don't understand that what we're doing is a civic service. Now help me lift this into the van. It's damn heavy. Jeez, these freaking things weigh a ton. What are we even going through all this trouble to steal? Bricks. I told you, it's not stealing. They probably either didn't want it or are too dead to be using it anyways. So instead of stealing, we're either essentially dumpster diving or looting. Wow that sure makes me feel better Fessus. Look, it's either this, or have our only source of income be from you taking increasingly stupid bets until it eventually ends in either your death, or your prostitution. Now shut up and help me lift dammit before someone comes. Wait, do you hear that? Hear what? The sound of your argument falling apart because you said that nobody wanted this stuff. Lloyd so help me I am going shove my foot so far. Shh. Why are you shushing me? Don't you dare shush me, mid-rant. No seriously did you hear that just now? 
Shit something's coming. Hide. Be me. Primaris Sergeant. Jara Notorious. Broken Shields Chapter. Been stationed here for the past 3 months, since the war officially ended. Officially ended. There are still enough orcs, tyrannids, necrons, and heretics on this former ice planet, to warrant an intense virus bombing style exterminatus. Thank the Emperor the Inquisition isn't there. Hollow. In the meantime, spend most of my time hunting down the enemies of man, along the rest of my brothers and the second company. On top of that, we, unlike the other chapters who joined the fight, have also been assisting with maintaining the peace, as well as rebuilding effort. Most of these people don't even know how to grow crops, considering the fact that up until 6 months ago, this was an almost barren ice ball, of almost no considerable worth. Just another thing to do. PNG. It's not all bad, though. I met this cute, 9 out of 10 sister of battle by the name of Olga. Not only is she great in a fight with that heavy bolter of hers, but she's quite competent in a vast variety of other matters, as well. I enjoy spending downtime with her, almost as much as I enjoy killing those wretched traitors space marines. Probably more, all things considered. She's great to talk to, and has a good taste in food. My only complaint is that I wish she had slightly longer hair. Wonder if I can convince her to let it grow out? Be Lloyd, be hiding in burnt out building. Wonder why the fuck Marcus didn't alert us someone was coming on the comm beads. Suddenly, see one of the basement walls just seamlessly slide up. Oh. That's why. Shit, these must be the people who this stuff belongs to. No wonder they just heard it and buggered off. I don't we could explain that it was all just a big misunderstanding. It may be dark, but from what little I can see, they all look like nasty pieces of work. Okay, hopefully they just came to do a little checkup, and then they'll leave. Easy p. Why are half the boxes missing? Oh yeah right, forgot about that. Okay, no big deal. Well just sneak away away before they put two and two together and well be home. Prerik. What was that? Someone's in here. Find them. Oh come the fuck on. Alright shit. Come on Lloyd. How are we getting out of this? Fight? Nadons wanna do that. There's too many of them. And the sound of fighting might attract more. Flight? Already tried that. Fucked it up. Bluff. With what though? Look down at armor. Oh yeah. I got an idea. Get ready to throw my voice. Drop your weapons. Lest you face the wrath of the blood ravens. Magpies? Show yourselves. You are not in a position to be making demands. Thieves. Now lay down your arms and surrender. Who are you calling thief magpie? Don't play dumb. We know everything about your little operation. I don't even know if thief done anything but model citizens probably don't sneak around in secret tunnels. Some of them get panicky, but the big one stays calm. So, you've got it all figured out do ya? Not in the slightest, but I am not telling him that. And just how you do you plan to stop us, little magpie? We have thousands of battle brothers working to foil your plan scum. Space marine chapters only have a 1000 members. A real marine would know that. Ah shit. Be me, the best seneschal in the Ekelshiarchy. And I am insanely rich. Who would have thought that shooting at a chaos marine who was about to kill the psychotic pseudo slave master who had threatened to burn me alive would pay off? Oh yeah, me. I thought that. Genius.jpg Between hustling rogue traders, collecting donations from everyone trying to move tech on the streets, and every other pie I've got my fingers in life is perfect. I've even got a side deal worked out with some hillbilly that somehow has TAU tech. He claims to be making it, but he clearly doesn't even know what it is. Sure thing Cletus.voxcast. The governor's or the daughter is shockingly doing a bang up job as governess. Things are running pretty smoothly and the people seem so happy you'd think she was giving out hand jobs. Though, I'm not sure she's not doing that. Press in the flesh. Real politic. Bishop, he's really settling into decadence and the little psycho sure does know how to please a crowd. He doesn't even constantly drag us into fights anymore, though that's because the twerp is clearly traumatized. When we go to the cathedral we never leave through the chapel, and when we have to be in there the kid is on edge the whole time. I guess getting a chunk bitten out of his chest by some gigantic murderous monster that's been eating souls for the blood god for thousands of years was too much for him. What a wuss.png. But hey, fine by me. As long as those bolter bitches can keep this planet from going to hell and the governors can keep the ad mech off our asses, everything is gonna be great. Be me. Be the spooky jit. Is been real spooky. Dis a yumi place has been unorky. Is the shadow and the night. Is been avian some fun mark and the yumi's spooked. 
3 spooky 5 u.p engrot. However, is still Gormuncher, Commando, and Deer is still or care on this rock. Is been here too long. Tom Tay meet up with the boys. Tom Tay make the wire get moving again. Earlier we go MP3. Is been listening to the Yumis. They think the rock is dead now. But they talk about boys. Not in the city. Out in the cold place. Is got to find them. And is not doing it alone. Pull up me Sacco Gubbins. Pull out me sidekick. Is a grot. Is pulled I am out a spiky boy. Is tells I am me plan. Where's got work to do. And where's starting with getting a truck. Be me. Planetary governess. Finally we can lean a bit back and while we are still too busy to travel to a pleasure world for it. Honeymoon at home was still pretty great. The energy saber I used to fight this fuckers giant chaos marine is now considered holy. So I always carry it with me to show who's boss. Work pretty well so far. While babe doesn't fight to the front anymore these days I try my best to keep him in for mostly loot stuff. Sometimes I can bring him to a sparring fight. This lovable little shota has grown into badass great shota. I oppress it to do this. While I of course I don't will let it happen that he ends up as some of this fat bishops one day. Speaking of which, he seems kinda sad about losing his birthmark. Surely I know how to cheer him up. Wanna puff puff dot png. While the imperial forces grow more fond of each other, so at least I hope, I should keep an eye on the cog boys. Some came today, to have some expedition in the underhive signed. Done it of course. While I never trusted this toaster gaggers, they sure now how to find the technology we need to keep things up. B Palatine Sarah. Down in the Undercity. What was once purely the sewage and maintenance network for Angel's Landing has been greatly expanded. Between the Necron excavations and Tyranid tunnel systems the straightforward sewer system has become a veritable labyrinth. The guard and the sororities have yet to explore the full extent of it despite the effort put into clearing the tunnels out. Watch as two sisters of the Golden Light place a melter charge on a chitinous biomass covering blocking a new tunnel. The Tyranids try to hide their progress. Hope that one of the raveners that dug it in the first place is not waiting on the other side. Pray that the emperor guide my hand. Signal them to blow it. The hard covering glows red and melt away. Hear shrieking from beyond the reach of our lights. Draw my silver wheel guns and start firing. 12 shots find places in the skulls of 12 hormagords. Step back out of the mouth of the tunnel. System Barisol takes my place. The bronze barrels of a heavy stub are spinning and spouting fire. Draw icebreaker instead of bothering to reload in case any make it past the shots. The firing ceases. One of the sisters fires a burning red flare down the tunnel. Hear the all clear. Look at the knife for a moment before placing it back in its sheath. The guard and PDF in the Undercity have reported attacks from a strange heretic wearing armor made from butchered tyrannid parts. Run fingers over the long scar at my throat. Call for a PDF team to clear out the bodies. Bfessus, currently hiding from the giant gang that just came out of nowhere while we were moving these unclaimed boxes. Lloyd's currently got them distracted. The shore can bluff and bullshit. He's already got them to admit that A they're thieves, and B they're doing something probably evil just by talking to them. That's probably even more information that we needed to justify this. Maybe he can even get them to surrender and we can turn the in for a ruler. Space Marine chapters only have a 1000 members. A real marine would know that. Ah oh well, there goes that. Avert my eyes for the flash that I know is coming. Lloyd and I both book it out of the basement and up the stairs, dropping a few smoke grenades to hopefully slow them down. Get to the van. Hey Fessus, where's the rest of the loot? Forget about it just drive, quickly please. Well we managed to liberate half of the crates, but that's honestly still more than I expected to get. Once we sneak back into base, we'll be home free yes. And since we already bribed the guards after a sudden case of short term amnesia, that shouldn't be a problem. Yes I agree this is the home stretch, the victory lap. Getting back before dawn should be easy as pie, a piece of cake, eh? What did we did just drive over? Why are we losing speed? What the? Oh come on. Why the fuck are there caltrops here? Who puts caltrops on random streets just for the fuck of it? This is bullshit. The universe can't pull this kind of shit. Not when we're this close. No you know fuck it. Get out boys. Kick this damn spikes out of the way. We're pushing this thing. I refuse to accept this. We will push this damn van. We will make it back in time. And we will get our money if it's the last thing we do. Be original commissar. 
spent the past few months coordinating with Imperial Command and future self though decided to remain on the planet to finish up the remaining pockets before officially joining. Learned that cleanup operations are boring as hell. Can't really do much other than clean up the bodies that haven't created calcium mountains along with all the claiming any materials left behind. Only thing we get to fight by this point are the occasional dark elder raids in the barren wasteland outside angle landing and whatever the fuck pops up in the sewers. Only thing that I have to look forward to is having this place finally cleared so that I can rejoin the veteran stormtrooper regiments I led during this planet's more chaotic days. Good times. Firing line was about to finish today's scavenger hunt and return to the city when some new fag guardsman said he found another dead space marine. Which chapter guardsman? Can't tell my lord. The only sign of his chapter's origins is his pauldron which has a three-headed snake-like creature. Wait three heads. Yes my lord. Oh shit dot heresy. Decided to investigate the body personally to confirm my suspicions and sure enough, it's the body of an alpha legionara. Only thing else on him is a mostly distorted recording for some upcoming mission. We were able to determine though that it was recent. Your orders my lord. Contact the other version of myself and tell him that he should get ready to recall all our regiments back to the planet, and get me in contact with the governess. Have this nagging gut feeling that this place is about to turn into a shitstorm again unless the cog boys can decide on the message but knowing them, can't really count on it. At least this place won't be boring for long. Beamy Sybarite Drowser. Fuck 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 fuck. The direction I chose just so happened to be the direction the succubus was coming from. Now I'm running from a venom filled filled with laughing witches and an angry succubus. Fuuuuk.wraithbone. The jet bike is faster but the venom can keep up, if barely. Be flying back over the street I was at before. See some monkey contraption stuck on the calthops I dropped earlier. Becked sass I didn't think it would catch something this early. Slow down a bit. Eat shit monkey. I laugh as I zoom into cover and out of sight from the venom. The beacon is still active but hopefully it's not too accurate. Think about using the phantasm launcher at the Mongay. Not yet. Let's see how this goes. B.I. Hastelvishkaya. Or Elvish, if that's too hard for your Mongay brain to comprehend. Be spirit seer of same Han. Just managed to warp into this forsaken system. I'd heard the rumors through the Wraithveen. The Tyranids. Consumer of worlds. The Necrons, most ancient of foes, the humans, belligerent and primitive, chaos, the arch enemy of life, so much disaster all in one place. We have clearly passed the point of no return. JPEG. Yet, let it not be said we of same Han do not risk our own beings in the pursuit of goals. Heard some of our kin had fallen upon this world, their spirit stones unrecovered. Not on my watch. PNG. The Farseer tried to stop me, but let's be honest, Elvish goes where Elvish pleases. Thank you very much. Webway Gate seems to have deposited me into some cavern. Try to recall where we're going to get out, can't seem to figure it out. Oh well. That's why I brought back up. Priscilla, do you know the way? Wraith guard behind me looks around. Priscilla was a fine warrior in life, but in death, she is without peer. She passes a quick affirmative thought, before marching forward, towards a damp tunnel passage. Took a bit of coaxing to wake her from slumber, but figured she would be key to the mission. After all, this is the world she died on. Be Lloyd, be standing outside, repairing this fucking van's tires with Marcus. Again. Apparently it was one of those spiky-eared assholes. The fucker yelled something at us in his moon speak and just started laughing it up from the rooftops. Smug bastard. Judging by the way he hides whenever he sees them they probably ain't his friends after all. Whatever. Elder politics ain't our problem. What is our problem is how to get this thing moving again. So it turns out trying to push a heavy ass van full of miscellaneous crates. With four blown out tires with just five regular Joes ain't gonna cut it. Go figure. Sure we had a spare. That's just it. A spare. Still three broken tires, so we had to duct tape and pump the broken three tires full of air again while fending off whatever creepy crawly happened to be around at the time. And every time we repair it, 15 minutes later, on the dot, one of the tires blow. And there he is, that smug asshole, rifle in hand, yucking it up on the rooftop. He knows he could just shoot us and that he's too far away and too high up to get him. So he just keeps fucking with us like the piece of shit he is. This time we start hearing the sounds of those other knife ears bikes again. We all book it to cover. Even Chuckles is shutting up and hiding. This time Thief stopped and started searching for something. Or someone. And I think I know who. 
Payback time motherfucker. Take out a flashbang. Go to time it right so they don't see. Time to show them why I was the star pitcher of the Brookhive base foot basket hockey ball team 4 years in a row. Throw it up onto the rooftop, right where that prankster is. This ought to get their attention. Say hi to your friends jackass. Be sister Therese. Be doing my best to not be a part of all this fighting and skirmishing. Sister Charlotte can go do it if she really wants promoted so badly. Honestly surprised she hasn't sucked dick to get some sort of cushy job as an advisor or something. Anyways my jetpack is still a little bit ways towards being repaired. Still been hanging out with my little sewing circle. No, literally, Nicole has taught us all how to sew. She's the poor young girl with the younger and deader husband. Honestly I think she just married him out of guilt, and now is extra guilty she doesn't feel extra guilty about it all. Anyways I'm still doing some actual work, don't need to kill tyrannids when I can convince wealthy widows to open more soup kitchens. This place might actually start to get some life into it soon. There are a lot of refugee nobles here from the destroyed parts of the planet, and those who came to prosecute the crusade. The cathedral was just the start. Little worried about the Red Templars showing up, that's usually a sign that there's going to be something dangerous and important going on. Hopefully Charlotte doesn't volunteer me, or Connie. On the bright side all the destruction of this place's atmosphere means it ain't so cold now. Be Rogue Trader Corazon, if you are so fortunate. Get permission to land from local flight control. Take the Aquila lander down to Angel's Landing. Have a pleasant chat with my Crimson Fist bodyguard brother Salvador on the way. The planet is not in the most exceptional shape, given the roving bands of heretics and tyrannids. Still, not bad all things considered. Shrine world status is evidently filling their coffers as well as I anticipated. Members of my staff depart the lander on different assignments. Quickly establishing contacts on any new world is essential to any enterprise. Networking is very important in my line of work. Myself, I head to the so-called matrimonial cathedral intent on meeting the woman who brought me here. The Echolshiarchy and I, our relations are quite good, as with the Mechanicum, and the Administratum. As I said, networking. The streets are laid out sensibly until a detour around what appears to have been the upper body of a massive titan. My local driver tells me it fell in battle and was simply incorporated into the city rather than expending the effort to remove it. Clearly my sources as to the salvage on this world were accurate, even understated. The cathedral is splendid. Apparently it was converted to house the sororitas after some recent battle. The actual places of worship moved elsewhere. The sisters and their equipment inside are arranged haphazardly, though with their own sort of reverence. Past two lovely women working to fix a heavy bolter. They give me an intrigued look. Ask if they have spotted something that interests them or if they are just impressed by my holstered plasma pistola. The curvaceous one blushes and looks down. The thin blonde makes lascivious eyes and watches me pass. Alas, business before pleasure. The canon is super rara. She is a frightening woman. The oscilloscope pupils in her soulless bionic receptors contain somehow more judgment than actual eyes. She seems very much like a good woman to know. Be me, Sybarite Drazza. Be laughing at Monge. Also hiding occasionally when the venom passes overhead. Though still I count this as a victory. Mock shoot wash with the phantasm launcher while laughing like a harlequin. See one of them make to throw something. Stupid monkey can't possibly think it would work. Laugh as it arcs towards me. Stop laughing as it detonates with a large flash. A large very visible flash. Oh shit. Venom definitely saw that. In fact it's already speeding right at me. If I run now, I might make it to the jet bike in time to flee. But on a demand satisfaction, I don't have time to kill them. But given the rush they look to be in. Aim phantasm grenade launcher at the van. Shout in the monkey tunge. Have a nice trip, assholes. Fire several gas bombs at the cunts. That'll put them out for a while. Laugh at them until I remember what's coming. Sprint to my hiding spot only to see the venom drop the succubus and company to the left. Jump down the stairs, knowing for a fact they're fucking with me. Don't look back dot raider. Burst into the room I hid the jet bike in. Already hear the witches coming down the stairs. Remember Annette wants him unharmed. Oh fuck they were closer that I thought. Start up the jet bike as they smash through a fucking wall. One of them tosses Annette. Slam on the throttle and barely avoid the thing. Burst through a window and into freedom. Live to fuck around another day. Be succubus Annette. Crush just got away. Again. Witches laugh and say I'll get him next time. As frustrating as it is, I like this game we play. I mean, 
He does know this is just some foreplay right? He can't possible be that dense. Laugh and resume the hunt. B sister Nix. Black Sepulchre combat hearse driver. My life is an illusion, and I am already dead. But by the god emperor, what a wonderful illusion it is. Assigned to a rapid response repentia purge team, cleansing the city of filthy bugs and cowardly metal revenants wherever they dare to raise their heads. We are surrounded by opportunity for a glorious demise. We ride into battle on 1500 horsepower of blessed war machine. None can stand before us. For you cannot kill what's already dead. Our foes do not understand this truth. They don't know that solace and redemption can only be found in death. Nix. That the greatest actor living being can aspire to is to die in glory. Nix. That eternal life is eternal torm. Nix. Look round. Entire hearse full of repentia are staring at me. You're ranting. Oh. One of the ones on the back seat lets out an exasperated sigh. Have you been huffing exhaust fumes again? That was one time Maria. Why do you have to keep Bryn? My train of thought is interrupted by the sound of my front tires blowing out. A spray of caltrops embed themselves in the windshield. Careen wildly down the street, desperately trying to regain control. Can't. Going too fast. See a group of stormtroopers trying to push a van. Can't avoid them. Slam on the horn as hard as I can. Ominous bars of pipe organ music reverberate down the street. They dive. Metal crunching dot vox. As I uncurl myself from the crash position, hear elder jabbering and see the wisps of gas begin to rise around the hearse. This is why you don't interrupt the driver while she's ranting. Be me. Oswald the Ultima Lowe's Heldrex. That's right. The Oswald fucking Heldrex. Be the one thing that this shitty ass, former ice world had going for it. Blood. More specifically, be a blood bowl player for the cold shoulder crystal sniffers. Sorry, former crystal sniffers. Apparently the old governor is daughter. Now the new governoress changed the name to the cold shoulder mantled battlers as a way of thanking some pussy ass, cape wearing sisters of battle. Fuck my life. Hollow. Fuck this stupid capes were wearing. JPEG. Not important. What's important is this. Go back about 9 months ago, when shit started hitting the fan. Apparently, some guard from God Emperor knows where. Start fighting outside the Lone Hive City on this planet. Never did find out what. Who cares, I'm paid to kill other things. Be on the middle of the mid-season playoffs against our rivals, the Madrid Beach Walkers. I had just scored a gaming tying touchdown, after breaking the necks of three of our rival players. Feels good. Hollow. That's when it fucking happens. Shit starts hitting the fan real badly. I'm talking orcs start invading. But that's okay, because something else is invading and killing everything else. Times that by whatever comes after 7. Orcs are dropping asteroids on Imperial Guard positions. Chaos demons are skull and anally fucking the former governor and his wife's corpses, on live vox, and the some spike covered, knife-eared faggots, are shooting up the streets, in more ways than one. What's worse, is that the demons, were skull fucking governor during my game. Like WTF. Because of this fucking shit, the game has to be called, and neither team gets to go forward. Fuck life.png. My face when our fucking ice stadium is now a fucking refugee filled crater. Me, sister Olga. This planet has finally gotten tolerable. I mean, it's still a shithole full of filthy hicks playing crusader but now it's also got my boyfriend. Chad Marine.jpg. He's such a sweetie, and not even these catty bitches are willing to talk shit when he's around. And the fact that he's a massive and chiseled avatar of war that towers over other space marines doesn't hurt either. When he's 8 feet tall. Gif. Of course, not everything is perfect. I still get stuck going on bug hunts in the caverns. Someone around here has to get work down while Therese bangs a harem of widows and the canonus researches bottles of rosé. Not sure the canonus can use a flamer anymore. The way she drinks, if you lit a match too close to her mouth we all might go up in flames. It's 1 o'clock somewhere. MP3. Charlotte at least is getting some work done. Sometimes we end up on tyrannid duty together. I give her a lot of advice on how to find and keep a man. Be me, the spooky jit. Is being cooking up a way to escape this air Yumi town. Lots of Yumi's is in there now, and lots of trucks with them. I, the spooky jit, is gonna take one. Loot me ride.pngrot. Is moving from roof to roof. Keeping me ears peeled. Ear some ruckus. Head over to get a look. Some elder pansy is mucking about. Authors flying in the air. Perfect cover.gif. Like a rainbow in the dark. Is legging it. 
Edfair 10 Dem Depots. Yumi's bringing dear trucks in air. Is where some Odem black and spiky Yumi's keep deras. Drop down. Spot me choice. Noise and shiny. Sneak in over. Oppin. Look teamy grot lad. Is Oppin as ready fair some pedal tay metal. Start up the truck. Start singing. Do ya like me truck? Tires screech. Engine wag. Step on the gas. Let's get out of this city. Be canonous. Really not in the mood today. The governess knows how to run a local government apparently paid more attention to her father more than one would expect. But military matters are firmly out of her wheelhouse. Which makes them my responsibility. Not sure why I ever thought not having full command over the crusade was a negative. Have to manage allocation of ermine mantle, black sepulchre and golden light sisters, imperial fists, salamanders, purple stars, auric patricians, broken shields, fucking blood ravens and now the red templars. Local PDF yokels from the bishop's holy army. Guardsmen who at this point probably couldn't even tell me their actual regiment with any certainty. A few warhound titans that would be a gift from the emperor if they actually fucking followed orders. It'd be enough to make a woman pull her own hair out if it weren't so utterly flawless. Meet with this road trader. As full of himself as any of them. But I'm told he's dependable. Here to bring supplies the administratum should have had to us months ago. Thank him honestly and make sure he is paid from the planetary defense budget and not the orders. At least I have some good news to bring to the strategic meeting. Enter the cathedral conference room. Barbara Stella looks mildly in her own stoic way that she had to wait. Sister Sarah is still covered in dust from her morning under city raid. Would love to see either of them do my job for a week if they think their lives are so difficult. An ermine mantle sister rushes to give me a report just as I sit at the table. Elder are dicking around below the range of the air defense guns on those stupid jet bikes again. Of fucking course they are. Be me. Primaris Sergeant. Jaron Artorius. Just came back from a fight with a bunch of nids in the undercity. Personally slew a ravener that was chasing after some guardsmen. Finally get back after being down there for three days straight. When I get back, I decide to give sister Olga a call and ask her if she'd like to do something tonight. Decide to leave it incredibly vague during our chat and simply tell her. Just something I think you'll enjoy as much as I will. Strange thing is, is when I said that, she immediately got this strange look to her eyes. As if she were picturing something. God, I hope she doesn't realize that I want to show her that hill a few kilometers from the city that somehow started growing grass and flowers upon its once glass-like surface. Anyways. She takes all but a second and a half before saying yes. Before parting, we talk for a few more minutes and then I place a kiss upon her cheek. We still haven't done it or even kissed for that matter. So that's about as far as I've dared to take our relationship so far. Her fellow sisters had the strangest look in their eyes at that exact moment. But I couldn't exactly tell what they were thinking. I am no librarian.jpg. Anywho, we plan on heading out tonight around 8 o'clock. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. I'll probably make some sort of meal and pack a nice blanket for us to lay upon and gaze up at the stars from. I am Philip, or Phil if you prefer. Watch as our only method of transporting our possibly ethically dubious goods is crippled by a spiteful elder, and then destroyed by what appears to be a very large and long pipe organ tank. No. See Fessus running in a panic towards the tank. No please. Please be alright. Why I had no idea he had empathy with thee. He veers off towards the wreckage of the van and starts pulling at the crates. Oh thank goodness. You're okay. Don't worry. Daddy's here now. And daddy's going to make sure you all get to your new homes where you can make daddy a lot of money. Of course. After I help Decorous up, we all make our way over to the crashed vehicle. The pipe organ aesthetic. The dark, macabre color scheme. Why this vehicle must belong to the order of the black sepulcher. And as the occupants piled out of the smoking vehicle, you'll never guess who I saw. Sister Maria. Why what luck. Oh hello Phil. Fancy us running into each other like this. Yes, what luck indeed. Oh yes hello again sister Anne Marie. I hope it wasn't too much trouble find a replacement for that chair. Anyways Maria, what brings you and your sisters out here at such a time of night? I could ask the same of you Philip. We were just heading out for a nighttime purging run. And as you know, we of the Black Sepulchre work best under the cover of darkness. For what better time is there for our bodies to accept the truth our mind has already long known, and take its last breaths when moonlight shines upon us like a, yeah yeah, that's great Maria, but listen, 
Do you think you could maybe give us a ride back to guard HQ? We're kind of in hurry to bring these supplies back to base and you all ride kind of just total bow ride. Jeez mind your manners Fessus. Absolutely not. Out of the vehicle stumbles a wild-eyed sister with a furious look, and slightly singed hair. Nix. No. We really an important mission to teach the scum the of this city the glory of a good death. We do not have time to be playing as the guards man scholar bus. Nix please. I can vouch for these stormtroopers. I fought with them back during the siege when I had gotten separated. They are a loyal hardy and competent bunch, and adding them to our numbers would only increase our effectiveness. While I can't say much about their competence in good conscience, I can attest to their hardiness, especially of the little one they tried to use as a battering ram. Who me? I don't remember that. You were asleep decorous. Absolutely not. We are already too far behind on showing the Xenos and Heretics the futility of life. Besides even if I wanted to, I could not. My poor hearse is in no condition to drive either. But it is at this point that Marcus looks much more interested in the conversation. So wait, what if we could get your hearse working again? Then would you consider taking us along? If you could achieve such an impossible feat, then yes, I would consider letting you and your belongings accompany us. Boys, get me duct tape and start moving those crates. I got this. The face one when I had this all typed in my notes but then accidentally deleted it. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Canonus is having some sort of Ekelshiachal meeting at the matrimonial cathedral. I can't say I love going there, but that's just because I can get so much more done at home in the mansion. Working from home.png. Gather my elite retinue, in full combat gear. I'm sure nothing will happen at the cathedral. I just make sure we are all constantly armed and armored to the teeth for appearances. Load into the exorcist. Don't even see why these meetings are necessary, but the governor says it's important to stay active. We can be active at home.lewd. Start hearing on the vox that there is some kind of attack. I fucking hate elder. Start demanding to know why this hasn't be taken care of on the vox. I'm a bishop I shouldn't have to deal with this shit. I could. I would even. But I think that someone else should handle it. Immediately. I'm some Bridget. Get told over the vox that some of those flying boat elder are back. The Dunair defenses are supposed to shoot them down but they always get under it somehow. The Avenger planes can't attack them solo either. I can fly, so that's supposed to make it my job. But they're so fast. I have bird wings. I fly at bird speed. Shoot some holy fire at them. That's really my usual go-to. They're too far away but it seems to scare them off. I hear the Vox go off again. Some sneaky orc is escaping in a stolen vehicle and I need to catch it. I can't be everywhere at once. I'm a son, not a miracle worker. Oh, I love an E-thread night. It's almost like a soft reboot. It's, you know, it's almost quite refreshing in the cold shoulder to have, like, you know, a small wave of calm before it all just goes to shit again, you know? But, no, I must say, I'm, I'm not feeling it with the youngster bishop so far. I really, I really enjoyed him at the end of the last thread when he was taking on that berserker. But, I don't know, he's just not doing it for me, like, you know? Same with the sisters, like, you know, the sisters are doing stuff, but, like, you know, I'm really feeling Festus and Lloyd and the rest of them guard boys, like, honestly, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to seeing about these boxes, like, you know, it's gonna lead us somewhere and we'll just see how it, where it goes, but I think it's gonna be a really interesting storyline. But let us know your favourite bit, of course, so far down below, and if you're interested in, like, joining in, on this here, like, you know, live action, well, it's not really live action goal plan, it's more like a free form goal plan, let's call it. But um, the cold shoulder is, of course, finished. But you could always jump on to the Inquisitorial Regiment. It's a lot of fun, like, you know, it's the type of thing. It's a shame that not more people do because I think it's great. I love reading through these threads and you love listening to them. And you know what I mean? They're so much fun. I really enjoy them. Like, you know, it would be a little shame to, like, you know, see them dwindle. Like, you know, we need to get more people on it. But no, so I'll link to their Discord down below um, if you want to get in contact with them to learn how it works. Um, you know what I mean? I think it's a lot of fun, so definitely something to check out. Though, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to speed. You need to click that wee notification bell to actually get notifications when the new videos are. And, of course, check out my own uh, Discord. It's a lot of fun. We've got so many piss goblins, and repeat Leon if you really enjoy it. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop. Now, this is cancer. This, this is so much cancer 
that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's weighing down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?